In this video, I'm going to show you how to open files to start editing in Adobe Audition. Now, there's two ways of doing this, really. The first one is common to all applications that you find. Um, it's to simply go File and Open, and from there you can pick out files that you wish to import into Audition. You've also got Open Recent, if you've opened something recently. And there, that's very common to you know almost every application that you can get for Windows and for Mac. But the, probably the most efficient way of doing it is to have the media browser open in Adobe Audition and to leave that open, which means you've got instant access to files on your hard drive. It's not open on my screen at the moment, and I can show you how to do that. If you just go to Window and Media Browser, and as you can see, it brings it up in its own panel. Sometimes it will put it in the dock up here. But if you watched my last video on customizing your workspace, you know that you can very easily undock or move it around to suit your own workflow. So let's open this up here. Now, as you can see, um, we have our navigation to different parts of the computer here. And we also have the list of files. Now, if you have a look, we've got different columns. And this is much like the column view in Finder in OS X. And like when you're browsing files in Windows, it tells you quite a lot of information about each file. It, for example, its duration or the type of file that it, that it is. Um, I'm just gonna open up a file by double clicking on it. And as you can see, that has loaded it into uh, my editor over there. You have a few other different options when you're using a media browser that are actually quite powerful and do speed up your workflow. If we have a look at this icon down here, this is autoplay. And uh, you can turn this on. And when I do, from now on, whenever I play a file, it will start playing. Now my sound's turned off, so you won't hear it, but believe me, it does work. And you can see the timer going there. You can just simply press stop if you want to do that. You don't have to have that on. And another quick way of listening to it is simply just to choose a file and hit the play button and you'll hear the sound and you can see the time again is playing there. So this is my desktop folder at the moment. And as you can see, I've actually set up some shortcuts already. And the shortcuts is particularly useful if you find yourself using the same folder all the time. So let me find another folder on my hard drive and I'm gonna turn that into a shortcut. So let's choose the public folder. Uh, I've got nothing in here, um, not yet, but I will do soon. And let's say we want to add that to our shortcuts list. You can simply drag over the shortcuts or you can click this plus icon up here, which you can use to add or remove the shortcut. If I just click add shortcuts, you can see now that it's added the public folder to my list of shortcuts, which saves me having to navigate through all these different folders. So if you have particular files or drives that you're frequently using, I definitely recommend adding those to your shortcut. And that's it. That's how you can um, very quickly open up files using Adobe Audition and how to make it quicker in the long run by me using that media browser and setting up some shortcuts.